The main drivers in service robotics sales last year was especially the growth rates in domestic and personal robots. Personal and domestic robots comprise the class of vacuum cleaners, robo mowers or robo window washers. These were the categories which reported a growth of 30% last year and in educational and uh, entertainment robots we even experienced a growth rate of 40% last year, so quite impressive. Another category in service robotics is service robotics for professional use. This means, for instance, robots for agricultural purposes, for logistics, for medicine and for other areas. And in this category, we call these professional service robots, we experienced a solid growth of 11% last year. We will experience quite impressive forecasts for the next four years from 2015 to 2018 in the area of domestic and personal robots we will expect 20 billion US dollars in uh, forecasts in accumulated sales it will be the same number for the professional service robotics domain again here we will talk about 20 billion US dollars in sales forecasts from 2015 to 2018 apart from the uh, existing uh, uh, domestic and personal robots, vacuum cleaners, lawn mowers, robo window washers. We uh, expect more uh, devices to come on the market in the household domain, but also in the education and entertainment domain. An interesting uh, new area will be service robots for supporting the elderly or mobility imp impaired persons. Here we uh, expect interesting product opportunities and hence also a significant growth in the next years. One of the most interesting emerging products will be, in our point of view, exoskeletons or body-worn kinematic devices which will support uh, people in rehabilitation but also we expect that these devices will find uh, their role in uh, work environments to actually support workers to limit forces and to actually improve ergonomic conditions at the workplace.